A lot of students this week would have broken up for the summer holiday, and now that the summer holiday has come, for those applying to medical school this year, it is really important that you begin preparing for your admissions tests, your personal statement and interviews. There's no better time other than the summer holiday to begin reading books. In this new series, I'll be giving you different books that I recommend you should read that will give you a really good idea of different concepts in medicine and of medical practice. Now the books I've chosen are books that I've read in the past and that I found really, really interesting. And every week or two weeks I have yet to decide, I'll release a new set of three books that I think you should read. The books I'll recommend won't be books that are too difficult to read. So even if you aren't a great fan of reading, just try and read these books. They're actually really interesting and you'll really thank yourself for reading them. The first book for this week is Complications by Athol Gawande. Athol Gawande is probably one of the most popular medical authors at the moment. This author is a surgeon who has reflected upon his past experiences and has talked about many situations which he didn't expect to arise whilst carrying out medical procedures. So I'm not going to reveal too much about this book, but I really recommend that you get out, buy this book and read it. It's a very good book. This next book is by Dr. Hilary Jones and it's called A Day in Your Life, 24 Hours Inside the Human Body. Now, this book was bought for me by a very good friend back at school and it's actually extremely interesting because it goes through the fundamentals of digestion, a very important topic that you'll learn about at medical school. It's actually quite funny because a lot of the stuff that I picked up from this was actually repeated in my digestion lectures during my first year at Cambridge. So as well as kind of going through the physiology of digestion, you know, you learn a lot of interesting facts that you may have not come across before. So again, if you want to learn a few facts on digestion, really read this. It's a very easy book to read. You could probably read it in a day or two. And the amount of stuff you'll pick up from this, it's great. Now the last book for this week is called The Concise Human Body Book. Now I wouldn't expect anyone to read this book and know everything in this book um, within a week or two. This book is one which you should kind of go through over the summer holidays. Predominantly this book covers anatomy but it also kind of relinks in a bit of physiology. But this book is particularly useful for looking up bits of the body that you may have heard about from work experience or you know just heard about and sounded interesting. So it's a really good starting place to read about that part of the body and if you're even more interested just go to Google and search it up or drop a few comments down below and I can give you some good links that you can look into if you are interested in the anatomy of a certain part of the body. This book covers everything from the anatomy of the heart to how bones grow, how muscles are structured. It's a really good book so if you do have access to it make sure to go out to your local bookshop or library and get this book and begin flicking through it. So those three books are the books that I recommend for this week. Um, they're really easy books to read and you'll gain so much from reading them. Not only will you gain quite a lot of medical knowledge from reading these books, you'll be able to appreciate medical professionals' insight into their medical career. So get your head stuck into these books and watch out for the next video next week in which I'll be recommending another three books that you should go through this summer. So take care and have a great day guys.